All right, Jasmine here, spiritual life coach and to our oracle reader. I'm going to go ahead and do the December reading for Virgo. I'm going to look at um, any blockages, any blessings, any stuck, stagnant energy, places where you need to play, place, plant your seeds. Um, looking at a few things here. So I'll let you know what's going, what comes up. This cannot and will not resonate with every single Virgo. Okay, so if you're looking for a private reading, my information is in the post and it is in the description box of my YouTube video. Alright, let's jump right in, Virgo. What's going to be happening for the month of December for Virgo? What's going to be happening in the month of December for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Come down with Divine Anthem. Alright, so I feel like you guys are... Okay, so it kind of feels like someone like... Praying, like someone's barely holding on and they're praying for a miracle like that's it feels like a lot of hope and wishing and praying like please lord please let me get through this day please let me get through this week please let me get through this month what's the obstacle okay things just seem stuck okay i, I feel like things are stuck or you may be stuck or you may be unable to move it just seems like things are stuck things are not moving um forward so it's like okay if they're not moving forward let me look let me call on jesus or something feel like someone's calling on jesus or something okay what's the active energy within you okay so you guys are actively trying to think positive about the situation so you're being you're having faith feels like you're actively having faith trying to move away from negative energy that got you to a stuck place that got you call, calling on god lord jesus whoever you call on um and it has you reevaluating the negative energy that is within you all right so um it does look like remnants or memories of your past is causing you to say i need to um be more positive Okay, so in uh, what's going to be going on, um, the past energy that's going to be coming up in December for you is recognition. Let me just clarify this. Okay, so it feels like in the past, the reason why you feel so stuck, in the past, you, you're you going to feel, okay, so in December, the past that's going to come up for you is that you felt like you could do more for people. So now that it, it's like you're stuck, you're calling on the Lord, and you used to be the one that came in and did stuff for people and was recognized for coming in. Oh, this person always shows up. This person's always on time. This person always does this. But right now, you're needing someone to be that for you. Yeah, very hopeful. Yeah, there's a lot of hope and praying and wishing here let's just clarify it yeah it's like it, it, this is what i hear <laughs> and I, I i'm a horrible singer so i hear the song melodies from heaven melodies from heaven rain down on me rain down on me that's what i hear so you guys are really pr playing praying you guys are probably listening to gospel music or something like that melodies from heaven yeah so i feel like someone is maybe even go back to church okay maybe even maybe you're thinking about yeah someone is really calling on god right now you know a lot of people do use this energy when they're stuck and they're stagnant they call on god the most or jesus christ whoever you guys pray to uh, but it's really beneficial to have that relationship with the higher um, ups every single day and you'll see your 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 life will be more aligned um what advice does spirit have for you what's what's the advice spirit for december for virgo Ooh, hmm it's, it, the advice is to pay attention to your thoughts. So it, it looks like you guys are paying attention. But, you know, it, it, sometimes we, we're, we're not really owning our stuff. We're not really clear about what we need to pay attention to. So it, it you guys are, you know, trying to get clear enough to get a blessing to come down from God, Jesus Christ, whoever you're praying to. But it's like you need to really get clear about your stuff. You need to really get clear about your bullshit because I feel like someone is living in disillusionment and it's time to get clear. 
all right so um yeah so this feels like boredom again something similar to what cancer had. okay someone's really fucking bored in the house okay so i feel like you might even have a surprise guest that might show up okay virgo you might be super bored in the house you know covid has taken over and you feel like you are confined in a motherfucker this feels like somebody's dead ass bored so you're either like please someone come over oh my gosh like I'll, I'll, I'll wear three masks also someone has a dog here the dog ain't keeping you enough company it's like we're tired of being in the house with the people you're in the house with you need some new energy you want to get the fuck out and possibly go to a grocery store or something you can even have like you know just some health issues uh, a long uh, health issue a long list of health issues where you don't even want to chance it but I just I feel like someone is in the house bored as hell with a dog I also feel like it's a great time to read a book and you could be already reading your bible because I'm telling you I feel like Jesus Christ energy I'm not playing I feel Jesus Christ energy honey someone is singing melodies from heaven rain down on me i was just listening to that so i know this energy um very well okay so hopes and fears in december for virgo do, 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 do. I feel like your heart chakra is blah ha 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 blocked due to psychological abuse on yourself and from others yeah there's some clearing of the heart that needs to happen here okay and that's where it's right here the advice is to take a real good look as you can see that's green green there green green here nonetheless there's some clearing of the heart that needs to happen there's some honesty that needs to happen there's some stepping into your mess that needs to happen there's some there's some clearing of the heart that needs to happen for sure okay outcome is it looks like you're gonna I, again i feel like you are gonna get a visitor from someone i oh, this honestly says fuck it this is like some fuck it energy i'm about to go out and have a drink drink okay oh fuck it i'm about to have a few people i'm about to have 12 people over fuck it that's the energy that i feel here this this is like straight the outcome in december is like fuck covid like it's it's fuck it it really is it, it's it's dead ass fuck it <laughs> i don't know what you say fuck it about but i feel like it feels like fuck it about staying in the house that's what it feels like fuck it about having friends over fuck it i'm gonna conjugate and do this you know i'm gonna throw away event whatever that looks like with you i just really really see fuck it uh, as the outcome i'm gonna have these drinks i'm gonna have this event i'm gonna invite people over i'm gonna get out the house Cause you're bored as shit and you're stuck and you're like hell no i'm already an air of uh earth sign i'm way too grounded for this shit already this is just in balance and it's a catastrophe all right additional advice for virgo december spirit come down yes yeah, somebody is going to be singing melodies from heaven from who okay from whom can I release my judgment right now? From whom can I release my judgment right now? So you're judging somebody. It says judgment, judgment, judgment closes our hearts. Didn't I say some heart work that needs to be done? Didn't I say that? And in turn, the reason why we are judging someone else is because we usually see ourselves in them. So you're really judging judging yourself, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, anyway, back to the card. Judgment closes our hearts to truth and separates us from love. I literally seen that. I said there's some clearing of the heart. Nonetheless, it binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. And that's why I've seen... Um, the envy card where i said spirit advice is take a closer look at you like really own your mess stand in it be clear about your bullshit <laughs> um so um on whom i don't like how they word some of these who are we placing judgment on right now is it someone in your life is it yourself release the shackles Drop the expectations and be grateful for what is today. So action, look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. 
see their desire to be loved and accepted add even more to add even more grace to open up your heart that you okay add even more grace to open your heart to this truth which is when i lift the judgment from myself and others i uncover my own truth i am loved i am whole i am limitless and so are you so like i said there's some clearing of the heart some realization some owning up some 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 getting clear with myself what personal power does Virgo need to step into December? Okay. I am safe. <laughs> and y'all damn sure gonna step into this because I see y'all saying fuck it and going outside of that boring ass home that you guys are stuck in. Yes. And it's so funny because this is a, a, a cancer card. Okay, so you guys feel, you guys, although you feel safe in the comfort of your, of your own home, it almost feels like, you know, it's just too much. So I do feel like maybe you guys even have like a gathering at your home where you feel safe there. You're like, fuck it. Okay, I'm still safe in my own home, you know, but I'm still going to have some people over and have some drinks. I can't do this no more. It's some level of that. Okay. I see it. All right, so that's your reading, Virgo. I hope that it resonates. Peace, peace.